So this is a recipe for Rice Krispies Sing the Blues. It's Rice Krispie treats all grown up, basically. So this recipe appears right at the end of Taste Like God, which is my new book that's coming out July 30th. And we're going to make it today, just for fun. So here we have a half a cup of cranberries that have been soaking in an equal mixture of Kahlua and balsamic vinegar, just to get them all plumped up. Now adding vinegar probably sounds weird, but stick with me here please, because the taste is actually amazing. Taste Like God isn't a recipe book, by the way. <laughs> it's a combination spiritual memoir about my own tangled up love affair with food, and it also has some amazingly powerful teachings about the true nature of food and health and the body, the true nature of all reality, really, all of which comes through in conversations that I have with spirit. Those lessons are stunning, or at least I'm stunned by them. You'll have to decide for yourself. So I've got butter and marshmallows melting in a pan, the ultimate health food. And then we have cocoa powder and espresso powder. That's instant espresso powder, not coffee. Some salt and, believe it or not, freshly cracked black pepper, which is actually really nice in there. So I'm making these ridiculously good Rice Krispie treats for our book release party for Taste Like God that we're throwing here in England, and you're invited. If you can't make it to England, we'll be live streaming the party on the internet. So the dates and times you'll see on screen here. You can watch all the parties going on live, broadcast right from my Facebook author page. We're going to do a fun exercise from the book at that party. I'll read it out and then we can all do it together. So if you want to participate in the exercise, just bring something gooey and delicious to eat. I'm going to be using a chocolate cupcake, but you can make it something healthier like almond butter on an apple slice or something if you want to. Anyway, I hope you can make it. It would be really fun to have you there. Okay, so now that the flavorings and the wet ingredients are all combined, we'll add the Rice Krispies to the mix. Let's stir them up. And here it is in the pan. Now for the crowning touch, just because we can, I'm going to sprinkle some chopped chocolate over the top and then press it in. And that's it. And here it is, a big, sticky, delicious slice of Rice Krispie Sing the Blues. Mmm. It's sweet and tangy and just a little bit alcoholic and really, really chocolatey with just a back note of coffee in there. It's nice. And it has the faintest hint of fruity, spicy black pepper in the background. It's really pretty awesome. <laughs> if you want the actual recipe, you can download it from the link on this page. Enjoy. Anyway, I'll be serving these up at the party on August 1st, along with book giveaways and some other fun stuff. So we'll see you then.